Hello everybody, welcome back to Padfoot TD Games. My name is Zach, I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back once again in Virtual Sailor Next Generation. We are here in Juno, and man, is it a windy day. Look at this. Look how much wind is pushing. This is going to be very interesting. The wind's going to push us away from the dock, which is preferable, obviously. Um, but we are about five minutes from sail away. I wanted to come up here and enjoy uh, being up on deck a little bit in this wind. The last coach bus is just pulling in now. We're going to get these people scanned in and get ourselves down to Ketchikan, which is going to be our next destination. Let me show you what that route's going to kind of look like. We're going to come out of here, Juno, go down the straight here, and then, of course, going through some inside passages back and forth, passing once again Tracy Arm, which is right here. We're going to bring ourselves down or around, go through here, do some zigzagging, really, in between some, uh, some islands. <coughs> Excuse me, and some rocks to bring ourselves to Ketchikan. Now, Ketchikan is an 11.15 in the morning arrival. It's always a very short day in Ketchikan. Uh, we originally had rain on the forecast. It looks like it's a 50-50 chance whether it's going to be rain or not. So we're going to find out. But it's been a beautiful day here in Juneau, a beautiful day here in Alaska, and uh, very excited to to move on. So, uh, we actually have another tr ship in port with us. Let's go take a look at that. Uh, I'll see you guys actually on the other side of the ship. But it's going to take me a second to get there. All right. So, there she is. That is the Royal Princess, by the way, everybody. She's in dock with us today. She came in just a little bit while ago, and I know that I'm going to want to get a little bit of a horn battle from them. So, let's see what we're able to do. Let's head down to the bridge and uh, let's get ready to set sail. All right, you're going to have to bear with me with that beeping because it thinks that it's a weapon. <laughs> Here we go. Weapon lock and ready. This is the duty officer speaking from the bridge. We'll be sounding our ship's horn from the forward funnel. For those of you on the open decks at this time, you may want to cover your ears. Again, we'll be sounding our ship's horn from the forward funnel. And for those of you that are on the open decks at this time, you may want to cover your ears. Thank you for your attention. All right, very quick with this one, or it's going to keep on yelling at me. Weapon lock and ready. And now we just got to see if she responds before we leave. There you have it, a call and response from uh, Royal Princess over there. Fantastic. Let's pop ourselves over to the other wing really quick. It's time to get ourselves heading out <coughs> towards Ketchikan. Great, that didn't screw up this time. A little bit to get away from the dock first. And we are on our way. I didn't click anything. I didn't click a thing. This is so obnoxious. What is happening? I didn't do anything. I didn't click anything. I don't know why it's deciding to go off. That's really frustrating, actually. I gotta figure out why. <laughs> that's gonna... <coughs> that's gonna be something that... It's going to be in the file because I've never had that happen before where it's just randomly shooting. I wonder if it's if I have this selected in D. Ignore that. Man, everything's going wrong in this, ain't it? I'm start swinging the aft around immediately. <coughs> At a much higher rate than we normally would. As we're backing out, we're going to have to watch the bow. Still a beautiful ship sitting over there, so that's pretty awesome. Let's get ourselves some lights going as well. Watching the bow. A 
want to start swinging that over. It feels like we're going so much faster than just three and a half knots. Why do I have a thinky? What are we thinking about? We shouldn't be thinking about anything. <coughs> Excuse me. I am, uh, I've lost my cheerful demeanor. I'm angry captain now. <laughs> uh, I just want to go home. I just want to go home and go to sleep. Which I know, I'm the only one who's keeping myself up, but I blame everything else. Hell, I'll blame the economy. Why not? Alright, let's slow that down. We can still continue about one and a half knots. Bring up that radar really quick just to see kind of where we're positioned. Remember, we can't do that. <laughs> Finish a rotation. Eighty six there. Looking good over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we'll rely on the front thruster to push us around. We'll match the speed. Get ourselves in a figure eight formation, beautifully departing, beautifully departing from uh, here in Juneau to head down to Skagway to continue this seven night Alaskan voyage. Um, but yeah, so it's so funny because I'm, I'm really excited about doing uh, the Hawaiian adventure, but it's, it's really funny because you'll have leaving Vancouver, yay. And then the next thing you see is after five days at sea, we're in Hawaii. Boom! Ta-da! Like, I can't give you a highlight reel of us just kind of sailing through the ocean. I mean, I could. I just don't think you'd want to see that. Okay, we are free of the dock 100%. And we pop back in now. Got to get ourselves pointed in the right direction. And then we can actually let autopilot take over. We're going to be going about 10 knots overnight. Um, to start, <coughs> which will pick up to about 15 around midnight, and uh, we should be for an on-time arrival into Ketchikan. Very excited about that. Uh, I can give some good stories about Ketchikan on our way. It's just a little bit more focused, so I'll wait until we're doing our arrival into Ketchikan to talk to you about Ketchikan. <laughs> Oh, God, please help me. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Another thing that I've tried to do on Virtual Sailor, which has come out to be a complete utter failure, is play with the fuel dynamics that we have here. And I've never been able to get one to actually work. Plain and simple. I, I, I have tried. I've gotten one pretty close for the amount of fuel times the burn ratio to figure out exactly uh, what would be the best option. But unfortunately, I've, uh, it either gets to the point where you pretty much have unlimited fuel or you don't have enough to finish a voyage. So it becomes very frustrating. But the ship is underway now. I bet you we can pop ourselves up to the top deck. Say goodbye to Juno, as well as saying goodbye to the Royal Princess that was here in the port with us as well. Very cool to actually see for the first time another ship in with us. I think we've got one with us uh, in Ketchikan as well. I actually think it's a carnival ship, but I am not 100% certain, so I'll have to find out once we get there. I know that when we are leaving to go to Hawaii, we'll actually be leaving with Quantum of the Seas, I believe, um, from Vancouver, so that's going to be pretty cool. It's going well. The ship is a sailing. But how, how can you not love this view? <coughs> Excuse me. Sun setting on the mountains. It looks beautiful up here. The glacier is up and around the corner and that way. <laughs> uh, but it was just a beautiful day in Juneau. I hope everybody got a chance to enjoy it. As we head off for our last port of call, Ketchikan. Um, which is always sad. There's always a bittersweet there because like, you're excited for it, 
but then you, you know it's your last stop. You're going to have one more day at sea, and then you have to get off the ship, and life goes back to normal. That's one thing of why I think I love ship sim so much, or, or you know, virtual sailor. I love it so much because this helps me live out my dream that I'll never be able to do, and that's to constantly be on a cruise ship. Let's keep that down to 10. Pop that out and just enjoy these views as we sail away here. Again, quite windy day, as you can see from the funnel action. Um, tomorrow night, after leaving Ketchikan, it will be Pirate Night. Very excited for that. Unfortunately, there's no fireworks that go along with it. It's just going to be a great deck party extravaganza, <coughs> which we'll be able to bring back on our next voyage. Before we head to Australia, which is going to be completely new for me, heading to Sydney. Very excited about it. Oh, God, I'm feeling awful. But since I am feeling awful and we're already sailing away, wow, it even, it even looks beautiful over there. Hell, it looks beautiful everywhere. I think that much we can understand. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one. I hope that you enjoyed this one. Um, again, I, I've probably got a billion more things that I could probably say and how awesome this is, but I think I just started becoming a, a broken record. So. We'll enjoy a nice, smooth sailing overnight to catch a can. We'll see you a later morning tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you as we get ready to pull in. I think it should be a good time. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.